Today we are tuning in for a day number three of playing the original Fallout as Lucy McLean. Now, just before we head on in to the one and only, we now have to recap a bit. So the recap, so far, what we've done is we went out of the caves from Vault 13. We started going towards Vault 15 and on that journey, throughout that journey, we stumbled upon Shady Sands. Now, it is the yours truly Shady Sands that was destroyed in the TV show, but here it is a small village growing with Aradash as the main boss around. The guy, the leader, the one and only who had a daughter, Tendi. And we had to rescue Tendi after coming back from Vault 15. We had to rescue his daughter from the raiders, which were right here. And now, with all that done, that was at the end of the episode one. In episode number two, we explored Junktown, which is a small town, but with a few dark secrets. So if you missed it, you can check out episode number two here. Now, in all that, and all, I mean, at the end, when we finished with Junktown and we helped Killian restore order to the wasteland. No, it's only Junktown. But what we did in the end is we headed towards the hub because everyone pointed that there might be the place to find a watership now that's what we are doing today we are going to be exploring the hub we are going to see what uh quests we can uh put our hands on and uh see how we could level up some more and progress the main storyline so yeah let's just do that so before we go on any further i think it is yeah it is the middle of the night let's wait till uh till morning yeah let's wait till morning and we are going to wait an hour longer rest for an hour yeah and that should be that should be it so that shops and everything is uh, everything should be open now now we just landed here at the hub let's see if we can talk to anyone today is going to be a long day sorry we're full so this looks like a caravan that is uh, heading out. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, let's uh, move on. Let's discover what's inside the first building. It seems like it's... Uh... Oh, uh, by the way, let's save the game as is. The same way we did yesterday, because you never know. Um, we might have an... Uh... Just a small issue with uh, Save Corruption. I mean, this is a game from 1997. So, <laughs> you know, anything could happen. So let's try and... Uh, I see nothing out of ordinary, but there, there's... No, never mind. Please. There's, there's a door here. Could we... Thank you. Who's here? Why, hello there, my friend, and welcome to the hub. Let me introduce myself. They call me Don the Brahmin Man. Will and deal with all the merchants. I will and deal with all the merchants around here. Offer my humble services for a low, low price. So now, what can I do you for? I want to join a caravan. Uh, what services do you offer exactly? Why, I manage the core for pretty much of uh, all the caravans, wagons, and brahmin in these parts. If they ever need anything for their caravans, I'm the one they talk to. Hell, the big free deal with me exclusively. So, the big free. Who's the, who are the big free? Damn, honey, have you been locked up all your life in a cave or something? Well, I mean, actually, we were, kinda. The big three are the three largest merchant groups in the world. Well, okay, maybe not the world, but they sure as hell cover a large portion, about as far as yeah, I can see. 
Oh, damn, I thought you were talking about something else. So how do I join a caravan? Damn yourself, you Brahmin freak. Okay, thanks, bye. Uh, damn, how could I... Well, I don't have any openings, but uh, you might want to check with the big three. There's a job post in the merchant market uh, that might be of uh, some help to you. That's where they and others get their men. Oh, sorry, and uh, women, of course. You don't have any openings are you a merchant too which way to the merchant market so we are going to go with the first one well no not exactly i work very closely with the, the with most of the smaller merchant groups though and i know we're not hiring oh uh yeah the smaller merchant groups though and i know we're not hiring okay your loss okay see you later don then done um so where's this merchant market uh just go straight down this road it's a smack dab in the center of the hub you can't miss it hey do you have anything to barter for no nothing well wow such a merchant yourself if you don't have anything to trade and you don't have anything here either i mean let me just try and uh, you know I'm just checking. I'm just checking. Uh, don't mind me, lady. Um, nothing. You don't have anything? Okay. I'm sorry you need to speak with my husband. Well, I'm sorry too. All right. What's here? Excuse me while I open this door and... Uh, well, there's absolutely nothing. Okay. All right. All right. All right, well, if we look very closely down here in the bottom right corner, you are going to see a subscription or follow button, whether you're watching on watching on a Twitch or you're truly, you're truly YouTube. Guys, thank you for tuning in and thank you for being here. If you want to help me grow and help me uh, just uh, maintain the quality of these streams and the schedule don't forget to subscribe to follow and all that fun stuff thank you guys for joining in so as we are headed uh into the hub it feels like these parts are pretty much empty like uh wait let me i see a farmer i see another farmer okay so i don't think we are going to be able to talk to anyone here but okay enjoy your stay move along I will, I will. Nothing? Damn, man. Okay. Looks like literally nothing here. Well, no problem. We can go in into the hub. Oh boy, what is this? Welcome to my humble house. What can I uh, do for you? Uh, could you tell me a little bit about the hub? Where can I find some ammo and weapons around here? What do you do around here? Who's the law around here? Thanks for the... Um, could you tell me a little bit about the hub? It is a, a sprawling city, the largest I have seen in my life. The center of the town lies to the south with the other areas branching off in each direction from here. Where can I find supplies? I get everything that I need from Mitch down by the Maltese Falcon. Just head on south from here. If I was looking for a job, where would where where would be a good a good place to start? I occasionally do a stint on one of the caravans that head out from here. If you're looking for that kind of work, just talk to one of the trading houses. I'm partial to the Fargo traders, but I've worked with all of them. Uh, where can I find supplies? I get everything that I need from Mitch. Uh, we already asked him that. If I was looking for a job, uh, we already... Can I ask you another question? What do you do around here? I get by. I hire on with the caravans when I'm a little short on cash. And work for the farmers down south a bit. Well, thank you for the information. Uh, can we barter? Do you have anything important? Oh, you only have caps? Ew. You don't have anything? Ew. All right. Well, in that case, let's just head on south. Let's go into the hub. All right. I'm just going to save here. 
You know, you never know. Okay. Walking into the hub. Well, I already see something here, but I don't think we are going to be seeing anything important here. Okay. Uh, dog, please. Thank you. Do you have any commodities to declare? Let's just... Let's just move along. Okay, so this is the Fargo traders from, from the looks of it. And then this is a general store. This is uh, FLC. Guns. Makes sense. Let's try. Where is... Uh, oh, Crimson Caravan. Yeah, I don't really understand the... It's yeah, I think it's the Crimson Caravan, which we met in New Vegas, by the way. All right, so who do we have to talk to? Hey there, how are you doing? Uh, the name's Dimitri, Dimitri or Romora, or Romora, or Romora, or Romoro. Head of the best damn caravan in the waste. Are you looking for a job? You look pretty fit. Yeah, so. That's just what we are looking for. You like the thrill and excitement of battle, don't you? Bullets flying everywhere, whipping by your head, blowing your your enemy in two, seeing the fear in their eyes. Oh, that's the life. Oh, you look like kind of a person that, that could serve us well. And we pay well. Oh, yes, we do. We've just had a few new openings if you are interested but of course you are right uh i mean i mean the guy's a little bit weird though but but what's the pay we pay 600 hub bucks i mean that's caps a job that's each way so one way out oh, 1200 not bad not bad hell people say we take all the dangerous routes but i say they are the most exciting you need a little excitement in your life. Am I right? Of course I am. And I think that's just what I'm looking for. We, I mean, we could say that, but do you always talk so loud, dangerous? I don't care about that. Uh, yeah, hell, I think that's just what I'm looking for. I mean, Lucy wouldn't ask that, but in order to progress with <laughs> with this, I think we, we have to ask him. Uh, we have to tell him that we are in. Um... Yeah, okay. Damn straight it is. Just go talk to Carrie in the next room. She'll let you know when the next caravan is leaving. Hey, can we barter just before that? Oh, hello. You have some stim packs. How expensive is one? Ah, that's not that expensive, actually. We could, we could sell a few things to this guy. I think we could sell him an armor. A leather armor. Possibly. Maybe. Alright, let's talk. And done. So... I'm not paid to talk, he says. I'm not paid to talk. Okay. Well, excuse me. Excuse me? Oh, this is empty. What about this one? This is empty too. And this should be carry. You see carry. So, that old bastard gave you the, the okay to work for us, eh? Well, you must be on B1 tough bitch. Uh, sorry for the language. I'm, uh, ex I'm impressed, but we'll see how you do. We leave only twice a month on the 3rd and the 17th. Uh, can you handle that? We go to all the local hotspots. The Brother of the Seal, Junktown, Necropolis, and the Boneyard. And the pay? Our pay is the best. Okay, we well, uh, this is six, yeah, sixty bucks. Um, we'll have no sissies on my caravans, and you better have plenty of ammo. We leave January. To, are you interested? I mean, we could say sure, even if we don't go, right? Maybe, whatever. If you get the urge for some action, come back. So what? What did he say? The third and the uh, eighteenth. I think it was the 3rd and the 18th. So what date is today? 1st of January. 
1st of January and uh, it's four minutes past seven. Okay. Okay. Anything in here? Oh, hello. Oh, everything's empty? No way, man. How do I get inside of there? Oh, that's the mal that's the Maltese Falcon the guy talked about. Okay, well, if we go around, here's the thing. If we go around, what's gonna happen? We can see. Uh, let's go into the general store actually first, because I want to offload some uh, some stuff. I want to uh, transform like Ian has a bunch of stuff on him from uh, the raider camp and from junk town. Actually, we shouldn't barter. We should uh, we should steal. We should steal. Shh, shh, shh. Nothing. Never mind. Shh. Which was which was the steal button? Ah, oh, three. Okay. All right. Let's sell. I don't think we need uh, scorpion tails anymore. And that's just uh, useless to keep there. Are we ever going to drink booze? I don't think so, but let's just take the leather jackets. Those are those we won't be using for sure. And we have too many pistols anyway, so let's just get rid of a few pistols. My god, all oh, he is. Can we stack desert? No, this, no, we cannot. Okay. Oh my god. Too, too many stuff. Oh boy. Like, we have almost infinite money at this rate. Barter, let's go. So, how much money do you have? Where's the caps? Did we walk past the caps? Caps, please. All right. All. Can I not stack these pistols? Why? These are all the same pistols. So what's going on? Well, it doesn't matter now, does it? All right. All right. 2.2k, huh? What is this? Right away? Uh... How much does one cost? Oh. <gasps> oh, expensive. What is this? Radio? Do we have a tool? I think we have a tool on uh, Ian. Most probably we have a tool already. But uh, the good part about tools is that uh, it, uh, it improves uh, your repair skill heavily. So that's what we are going to be doing. We are going to take that tool. Then we have a super stim pack. An advanced... Oh, 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 an advanced healing can very powerful. Super stims will cause a small amount of damage after a period of time due to powerful nature of the chemicals used. And then we have psycho. But we have also a scout handbook. And that... I mean, I want all the books. Dean's Electronics. Big Book of Science. Thank you. Um, we are going to... Yeah, we are going to have to wait till we buy all of this. But so far, this should be a good trade. Let's get one book and let's just even it out. Okay, so how much? Uh, I don't know. Let's go for 400. Let's put 400 back and should be that's 80. So it should be 64. Yeah, that's even. Thank you. Good stuff. Let's talk to you again. No, nothing. Thanks. Uh, we should steal back uh, some more stuff from Ian because we, we, we gave it to him. So... We have a lot of stim packs, which is like top. Like that that's really good. Uh now what? Let's let's take all the knives. 
And let's see how much do the knives sell for. If I give him all the knives, the throwing knives. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Um, what is this motion sensor? How expensive is a motion sensor? Not even that expensive, huh? Interesting. Uh, I want the big book of science. And give me some more caps. Uh, I think it would be a hundred... 173, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that's... that's the one. All right. What? Oh, oh, oh. If it, uh, see modern motion sensor detects the movement of biological material over a distance of, of meters using a tuned radar. Uh, so that means, so the motion sensor, what it does, it, it does literally, I think there's like, um, uh, yeah, the tab, see, like uh, it detects motion, but, uh, from what I can see, why motion sensor option option is not installed wait a second how do we install wait a second how do i install the motion sensor there we go see that's that's more like it but i mean we can easily bypass the motion sensor with uh the fact that you can go into combat and you can just look through the map um, let me let me show you what that means, guys. Let me show you what that means. We go into uh, see just like this, and we just uh, zoom across. I mean, we just uh, move across the entire map, and you can see enemies and uh, whatever. So we could do that, or we could just uh, do this. And if I I don't understand. Wait a second. Can we not in, in, install it? Like, oh, maybe, maybe we have to use or like, okay. All right. So we need to, <laughs> we need to have it in, in hand. Interesting. Well, that's not a problem. There we go. So yeah. Is it worth it though? I don't think it is. Is it worth having the the motion sensor? I don't know. Maybe wait. Maybe maybe if the enemy uses um, what is it called the the invisibility uh gadget that you can get in Fallout, the stealth boy. Maybe then we can actually detect people with the motion sensor. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. We are going to use that. Let's uh, steal back a few things from Ian. They, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's take uh, five leather armors. Okay, barter. Let's see. The five leather armor. Wait, didn't I take? I think I didn't take it. <gasps> oh, no. Oh no. Uh, how many did I have? Oh, four. Oh, you cannot. Oh, the capacity. Okay. I think we should read these books first. Yeah, all right. Let's read the books. Let's read the books. Guns and bullets. How much did that? Oh, it's one hour. Okay. All right. Uh, that would, would be nine in the morning, 10 in the morning, and this should be 11. Right? Is it 11? Yeah, it's 11 in the morning. Good. Now we should be able to... Uh, 
steal back a few things from Ian. Let's uh, take five leather armor. Oh, you cannot. He still cannot pick that up. Oh, man. What do you mean? All right. I'm going to put the tools and uh, a few things onto Tycho. Yeah, Tycho. Let's uh, let's barter, shall we? Take five steam packs. Take the rope. I can always take it back from you. And take the tool as well. That should be that should be enough. All right. All right. Any usable item we are going to uh, put on the Tyco. Never mind. And let's take back things from Ian. Come on, Ian. Uh, I don't think we need flares. BB ammo. Mm. Now. Now we can take back. Or maybe one Desert Eagle as well. What about the shotgun? We cannot pick that up anymore. Okay. Alright, let's barter. What would you have that I need? That's 4,000, by the way. That's literally 4,000. Wait. Oh, we didn't have space for the Desert Eagle either. Oh. Well, Geiger counter we don't need, I think. No. But we do need Dean's electronics. Does he constantly have this amount of caps? That's weird. I swear we... feels like his caps reset every time interesting maybe not all let's uh, put back 10 okay one more maybe one more okay and the rest should be money oh no actually let's take all the money from this guy yeah. The more caps we have, the better, because caps aren't that heavy. Add one, and we should put back 105. No, no. All right, that should be it. There we go. Nice trade. Thank you. All right. Wow, 25 steam packs. All right, uh, let's barter and let me give you some more steam packs. Like 10. All right. And we sh shall read this book too. We shall read this book too. Uh, thanks for that. I think uh, it's time to part away. No. Did his uh, caps reset again? <laughs> this guy's caps reset every time. This is amazing. I like that. 20. Cat spa. You know what? Let's sell these two. For 70 caps. All right. Okay, let's see what is this all about. FLC. Lorenzo. Well, if it isn't the potential customer, I'm Lorenzo the Munificent at your service i give out loans only 10 percent only 10 percent daily interest a maximum of 10 days to repay you won't find a more generous lending institution anywhere in the hub 
Actually, I was hoping you could share some information. I come for a loan. I mean, this, this guy, this guy is an extortionist. I mean, a 10% a day. Yeah, sure. I think I remember this guy from playing the game like from years ago. You sound like a ripoff artist to me. Guido Lane, why don't you show him? Oh no. I didn't mean to do this. I thought there was there's gonna be oh dialogue. No. Oh man, we have to we have to reload now. That's kind of sad. I should have saved. Uh let's uh let's just go through the dialogue with this guy. We didn't lose that much. No problem, we can just uh yeah, so uh what's the pay? Hell, that's what I'm looking for. And the pay. Maybe. All right. I've still got some things to do. I need a water chip. What are you waiting for? There are caravans to run. They are not ready to leave yet. Damn, you're missing out on some good action. All right, no problem. We didn't really loot anything from there, so let's just go to the general store real quick. I think I don't really think we need the motion sensor, really. But we could. We could still uh, buy it. Alright, Ian. Alright. Uh, it didn't work? Probably. Probably it just didn't work. Let's take all the pistols. And this too. Cannot pick up that. <laughs> Your maximum weight capacity. Oh, well, where did it land it? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to take the tool. Oh. There's no space left. Yeah, we have to barter it back. Well, no problem. We can't pick that up. Okay, we can pick up one. One. And that's it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'd like to buy something. And also to sell. All right, let's uh let's get rid of everything that weighs us down. Honestly. That's what we are going to do. That should be enough. Let's get the tool because we could always use that. We have a rope. Yeah. Let's get the books. And the rest maybe Oh, that's good. That's good. And the rest should be caps. Uh that's uh 114 All right. Done. Thank you. And now let's barter with uh, Ian. Now the next thing we have to do is give him... Oh, no, no actually. I don't think I want to give him... The... I mean, you know what? Let's give him the tools. Sure. And the rope as well. And while we're he here, let's give him nine stim packs too. So it doesn't weigh us down that much. But how much is it from a weight perspective? It doesn't tell us. Nice. 
Maybe if we used uh, use it in the inventory, we shall know. All right, offer. There you go. Bye. And now give me some more stuff to sell. There we go. There we go. Let's take the leather jackets. Do we have two desert eagles or do we have like three? We have actually three and two shotguns. Oh, four shotguns. And two of these. And the dead. Oh, we can't. The de oh, okay, we can sell the desert eagle. That's not a problem. We can still make lots of money by. Um, Let's sell these. I mean, look, we looted so much of those raiders. I'm so happy we did that. Honestly. Okay, we don't want the motion sensor just yet. We could actually take caps. I mean, having two right away wouldn't be a bad idea. Just in case. Because we are going to have to go to the glow. And the rest should be... 700. Oh no. Uh, we have to get rid of... Uh, 52. Or like... Yeah, 62. Alright. That's a fair trade. Boom. And we can read these books. For uh, the XP. And uh, I think that's it. I don't think we need really need anything else from this guy now. I mean, we could get some stim packs, but I think we are going to load up on stim packs later on anyway. So yeah, let's uh, go back and talk. Uh, I think I'm going to just read all these books for uh, the XP gains. There we go, there we go. Wow, we we were. Mm -hmm. Alright, well the general store is done. We didn't get that ma that many uh caps, but uh we still have lots of stuff on Ian, so I don't worry about that. We had have that right away. In which case I'm going to... I I don't know if I should store the red away on Ian because I don't want him to use it. So there might be things that we are going to keep on ourselves. Like the red away. It weighs one pound. Alien cam when injected the game provides immediate healing minor wounds. But how much does it weigh? It weighs two pounds. It weighs one pound. Okay, but if I look at my character. No. Where's my weight? Carry weight is 110. And total weight is 60. So I think it's the armor that... Uh, yeah, that's 35 pounds. Plus the gun that's uh, 46 okay all right so let's save the game we went to the general store save the one and only game we are questing in the hub okay Psst, come here so what you doing in the hub i don't really see where that is any of your business we could ask maybe why Looking for something that I need. Why? Well, you look like a businesswoman, and I'm in a, and I'm, a, I'm a in a business, so I uh, thought we could uh, discuss uh, business. Well, do you do? Well, what do you do around here? Or I don't think I want to have anything to do with your business. 
I think I'm just going to give you the business. Ah, uh, well, what do you do? I do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I get things and information for people, whatever they might need or be looking for. Well, I do need some things. Well, we all got needs. I might be able to help with some of them. So what sort of needs do you got? Needs, huh? I understand needs, but what might you know about satiating these needs? This, this became very sexual very quick. I don't know if I want to be a part of this now. Um, stuff for needs, huh? Well, I know a guy over in Old Town that can probably fix you up. Oh, this is drugs. It's some stuff like that. But you know what? He needs to know who you are before you show up at his doorstep. Let me guess, this invite is going to cost me. Exactly. The thousand caps? Yeah, I can't afford that because you like me so much. Why don't you just do it for free as you flex your muscles? Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work out. Trying to intimidate poor old Lemmy, huh? Well, it's not afraid of the likes of you. Can we talk to him again? Sorry, man, got things to do. Nice chatting with you. Mm -hmm. Is this like a strength roll check ish finger magic? Let's, uh. Oh, man. We should have asked why. Let me just uh, redo this quickly. Yeah, in Fallout 1, it's it's kind of a bit unbalanced, so that's why we have to re-roll sometimes. Uh, well, what do you do around here? Anything you can tell me about specifically? Anything? Uh, no? Well, I'm looking for a certain commodity. Cost me... Should we pay him a thousand caps? Oh my god. Because I don't think... I mean, how about 800 caps instead? Now, now. I wouldn't be the man I am if I give information. Yeah, of course it doesn't work. I'm looking for a commodity. This will cost me. So should we pay the, the thousand caps? Yeah, um, let's... Uh, let's not end this, the discussion there. We could always come back to this guy. And uh, go down the same path. Let's uh, try and do the FLC thing again. The hub questing. All right, this time we have Lorenzo here. Well, if it isn't, actually, I was hoping you could share some information. I come for a loan. Uh, well, I suppose, what do you need to know? What about the local police? They are great guys. It's true. We have the occasional misunderstanding, but I think they are a credit to their species. Sotto voce. Whichever one that is. Misunderstandings like what? Can you believe someone accused me of extortion? Fortunately, my good friend Decker set them straight. Uh, tell me about Decker. He's a great guy. A good source of jobs to pay off my loans. Tell him I sent you, you might get a bonus. Now, the biggest problem with this is that no matter how much we are going to be trying, because there is cut content in this game, we won't, we will never get the good karma ending uh, for this town. This is a bit of spoiler, I know, but it's won't, it won't happen. So, for just for this reason, I'm going to go down on uh, and and do a bunch of the quests here in the hub just for the XP's sake, because I know that we cannot do this. So that's uh, that's one of the biggest. Uh, I mean, it's it's uh, it's only two cut uh, content quests that are going to somewhat uh, influence the outcome of the ending of the game, and it is due to cut content, uh, which with which Fallout came out in back in 1997. And for that matter, uh, we can just easily do uh, some of the quests because the outcome at the ending of the at for the ending of the game is going to be the same no matter what we do. One of the cut uh, cut content quests, one of the cut quests uh, in uh, 
in uh, Fallout was the Iguana Bob quest. We killed Dr. Morbid and we uh, we found out in Junktown that he is uh, he is actually chopping up uh, human bodies and he's turning them into ig iguana bits and iguana on a stick. Um, but the problem is that no matter how hard we try, we cannot expose this problem because it, it's due to a cut quest from the game. So what actually happens is we are going to... Uh, uh, the hub at the ending of the game is going to become desolate anyway because we didn't uh, we didn't set the town on a straight path. So for that matter, we can do Decker's quests. We can do. Uh, um, I mean, we will expose Decker in the end, but we can still do the quest for the XP because it won't really uh, influence anything. It won't really matter. So, yeah, that's why it, it, we are a good karma. We are Lucy. We are playing Lucy. Lucy is a, a good karma character. Um, she 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 cares about this, but from a gameplay perspective, we can still... I mean, it's not necessarily exploiting if if you, you don't even have the quest in the game, I guess. So, so we are going to get those quests done just to get some more uh, XP, level her up more and stuff like that. So... I mean, otherwise, if you if you want, you can if you want, you can always uh, we can always we could always make a vote in the a vote uh, in the chat uh, if you guys want me to uh, uh, do these quests or not or, or or whatever. But just from a progression sake and for the fact that we are going to be getting some good XP with that, and we are still going to expose at the end Decker's uh, shady business to the local police, we can still do them both without changing the ending of the game. So I repeat, it, this doesn't change the ending of the game because we cannot get the good ending for this location. Anyway, with that said, uh, bonus? What do you mean? He's a great guy. I tell, you, tell him I sent you, you might get a bonus. Bonus? What do you mean? Well, maybe not a bonus, but he's a great guy. Trust me on that one. What about, look, what, what about the children of the... How did this come? Where did this come from? I can say I'm too impressed. I run an honest, respectable business and they accuse me of being a thief. The nerve on those people. They think a vow of poverty gives them the right to judge me. Vow of poverty? Uh, I'll bet their leader, this Morpheus character, he's not broke. No, sir. I'll bet that over in the boneyard, he's just living it up. Uh, what about, tell me about yourself. What does a person, where does a person find work? Uh, that would be Decker. Okay, so what kind of, what kind of exam? Uh, adventure, danger. You can really make a killing. Okay, uh, well, with that said, um, tell me about yourself. Uh, respectable businessman. Yeah, sure. Where does a person, okay. Can we... Yeah, well, buy. And let's try and uh, get a loan. I come for a loan. Now, if we come for a loan, we can loan 200 bucks. But here's the thing. There's a little bit of a secret here, boys. There's a little bit of a secret. We can loan and give it back to him. And then he is going to loan us some more money with a cap of a thousand caps. This one I remember from back in the day. Couple of you, a couple of years back when I played it. So, what we are going to be doing is, I like two hundred bucks. Then we do. Uh, I want to pay off my two hundred bucks loan. Fine, a pleasure doing business. Now we can do four hundred. Then uh, we can pay off and take six hundred. I come for another loan. No, we can pay off the 600. Oh, sorry. Then we go for the 800. Yeah, and now, and now we talk to him again. Pay off and then we can get the 1000. And I don't think we are going to ever give him back the 1000. But let's just leave this, uh, leave this as is. And uh, let's move on uh, with our lives. So now we have 6.7k, so that was an easy 1k caps. 
Now, this is the Iguana Bob that I was talking about. He would have started... We could have exposed him. So, here's the thing. We talked to Dr. Morbid. If we talk to him right now, he's gonna be like... I think we need to talk about Doc Morbid and some of your secret ingredients. What are you talking about? Your secret ingredients. How fresh does the corpse have to be before it develops a bitter aftertaste? Do you use mutants, humans, or a mix? Or we could just say, I mean, I found an invoice on Doc Morbid's, in Doc Morbid's lair, an invoice for dead bodies. If you got a memory loss, I can talk to the sheriff. Prime choice select is made for of people. It's made of people. Okay. Uh, your secret ingredients. How fresh? I've. If you've got a memory loss, um, I can talk to the sheriff. Don't do that. Fine. I've been using some questionable portions, but it's not like I'm committing murder. Doc Morbid stuff is already dead, isn't it? Well, I don't think so. I mean, me, me myself, not, but... I'm sure it is, Bob. Have a nice day. Cannibalism is a crime against humanity, Bob. I'm going to see that you pay for it. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't care. I want a piece of the action. Cannibalism is a crime against humanity, Bob. I'm going to see that you pay for it. Wait a minute. We've got to find a way to reach a mutual understanding. The only way you'll be able to keep me quiet is to kill me. <sighs> oh man, I just hope we don't anger him. Sorry, no deal. I change your mind if I were your friend. People have died for less in the hub. Now, the only reason why I don't want to take money from this guy is because that gives us negative karma. Because we are literally become we are literally becoming accomplice to what is happening, and we are okay with it. And then the game rewards us with negative karma. So we actually don't want that. So what's gonna happen is we are going to skip this, and uh, yeah, it, it, with this. So the cut quest would have been for us to go over to the police, talk to the sheriff and expose this. And then we could have gotten the good karma ending for, uh, for this location. So yeah, just so you know, guys. All right, let's explore the guns. This is the weapon shop. It's run by Beth. She's good for guns, but better for gossip. Okay. Is that it? Bath someone used to see you. No kidding. <laughs> Hi there. How can I help you? Uh, can I ask you some questions? Of course you can. Uh, don't be silly. What can you tell me about Decker? Now, there is someone you don't ever want to mess with. He scares me. He owns the Maltese fang a Falcon. Why did you say it like that? He owns the Maltese Falcon. Sorry, it just reminds me of a friend that used to own it before him. Decker wanted it really bad, but my friend wouldn't sell it. Two days later, they found him dead in a back alley of Old Town. Well, that's for sure. He didn't overdose. I think he's dead. And he was uh, murdered by none other than Decker. So, yeah. Uh, why do you think Decker's responsible? My friend was a clean freak. He wouldn't come within 100 yards of Old Town. He was shot with a magnum. No one in Old Town could afford one of those. Plus, he was shot once in the head and twice in the back. Does that sound like a robbery? My friend was just trying to get his life back. Wait, get his life back? You probably don't understand, but most of us look forward to the day when we own our own lives. When our lives don't belong to the merchants or the moneylenders. Oh, thanks. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Don't you ever stop talking. Uh, oh, thanks. Is there any place in town I should avoid? Oh, yes. Uh, you ought to stay as far away from the Maltese Falcon as you possibly can. Decker and his greasy lapdog cane are bad news. They'll eat you alive. 
if you are not careful. I'd also give Lorenzo at the Friendly Landing Company a wide berth. Um, what can you tell me about the different merchants? Have you heard any good rumors? Uh, well, there are three main merchant groups. There's the mer water merchants, the Crimson Caravan and the Fargo Traders. They also run the city council. What do you want to know about? Uh, the water merchants? They're in charge of all the water. Greedy people. I wouldn't want to work for them. Their pay is the worst and the jobs are just as bad. Did they always control all the water? Thanks. Another question about the merchant. Yeah, did they have always controlled all the water? No. From what I've heard, a while back, a group of merchants seized control of the water tower and proclaimed that they were the water merchants and people had to get water from them. The merchant war raged on for years until a man named Roy Greeny yeah, Justin's grandfather, that's it, helped to negotiate an, ar an agreement that ended the war. What kind of agreement? Well, he set up the city council and set a limit on the price of water. Personally, I think they should have beat the, the tar out of them. Oh, sorry. I mean, they should have showed them who's boss. Great, I didn't need quite that much information, but thanks just the same. Thanks. Another question about the merchants. What about the Crimson Caravan? The Crimson Caravan are a bunch of crazy people. They will do any job, no matter what the risk. I mean, we already met the guys and they were like, yeah, you want to shoot stuff? Oh, yeah, boy. And uh, yeah, I'm surprised they aren't missing more caravans than they are. Uh, yeah, so they are missing caravans, huh? They are missing caravans too. Actually, all the merchants have had a few caravans disappear. The Fargo traders are just unlucky, I suppose. How risky. Or that... Thanks, another... How risky. They will pass right through an area known to be attacked by raiders. They charge a lot of... So... Uh, they charge a lot so they can hire extra hands. The pay... The pay is great, but you have to be alive to spend it, right? They're missing caravans too. We already asked... Uh, th thanks. Uh, another question about the merchants. The Fargo traders. The Fargo traders pay well and their jobs aren't too deadly. But Butch owns this shop, a good man. They are fair and let me do uh they are fair and let me do as I please with the place. I like working with them. Plus you get a discount on anything you buy here if you work with or if you work for Butch. Okay. Uh, what about the, uh, we already talked about the city council. Oh, uh, that's all. Thanks for the information. Now, before that, let's just trade with her because she has guns. Lots of guns. Okay. Uh, well, it looks like she doesn't have anything important, but she has some money. It's just... Too bad that we cannot tell our um, companions what armor to wear. Because I would really like to uh, just, uh, you know, give them a bunch. <gasps> oh, she has ammo. She has the type of ammo that we use. How, how much? How much, lady? How much? 5,000? <gasps> oh, no. Okay. Uh, we are going to trade for, for that with... Um, Using, uh, you know, Ian's uh, loot. That's all. Thanks for the information. Let's uh, let's uh, get some stuff back from Ian. Please, Ian. Ian, hello. Ian, hello. Hello, Ian. Okay, thank you. Uh, he has three Desert Eagles. Uh, this pistol is yucky. We won't be using that. The tools we are going to hold on to. Uh, if we don't use that pistol, we don't need its ammo. Get one of those. One of those. And maybe a bunch of uh, grenades. Okay. 
What about the two flares? Let's just get rid of a few things. All right, and one first aid kit. Now, if we do this done, let's barter with her. And now, if we give her all of this, oh, only 200? Wait. Oh, you know what? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's uh, let's wait till uh, for the discount. So just to just to make sure, a discount would be if we take one ammo, it costs eight hundred thirty free. Okay, it's eight hundred thirty free. So let's see how much it costs when we talk to Butch and then come back. Alright, let's save the game. Hub questing. There we go. Oh! We constantly hear like a uh, weird ass voice. Oh! That's not good. That's not good. Something dirty is happening in this town. Oh boy. Oh boy. Did we uh, explore everything? Oh, let's go to the police. Do we have a uh, high enough gambling skill to gamble in this town? Oh, no, not really. 34. Yeah, okay. Let's just walk on over to the police station. Hello, ma'am. The name's Justin Green. Greeny. I'm the sheriff of this fine city. Is there anything I can do for you this fine day? I have a crime to report. Oh, nothing. Sorry. That was a weird, weird encounter. You're doing a fine job. We can tell him. Hmm. Well, thank you. We try our best. It's really tough in a city this size, but we do the best we can with what we've got. It's hard when the, the thugs have better firepower than you do. Uh, he, he, true, true. Do you have anything for sale? What is this? Oh, 14 millimeter AP. So, 192, huh? Yeah, um, he's already outgunned. If we take all his ammo, <laughs> what's what's that gonna look like? Nah, it's okay. You you can uh, you can keep your ammo, sir. It's it's okay. All right, let let's go to the Fargo. Hey, hey, hey please please don't block me, sir. Hello, Tyco, sir. Please don't block. Hello. Okay, thank you. Let's uh, go over to uh, the Fargo Traders. And before we go in, let's um, do a quick save. In in this game, you quick save. Oh no no no! Do, do not load. Whew, that was that was a close call, boys. <gasps> we almost loaded instead of save. Uh, Fargo Traders run by Butch Harris. Um, he's at ne at ne What did he say? All right. What whatever you read, guys. That that went past uh, pretty quick. All right, who's this? Hi, if you're wanting a job on a caravan, you should talk to Rudger. He's the caravan over here. Hello and welcome to the Fargo Traders. How may we help you? Can you transport water? I'm looking for work. What is it that you do here? I'm in charge of the... I mean, I help run the Fargo Traders. If anyone messes with us, I'm the one they will answer to. We trade wares between all the different settlements. What sort of things do you do you trade? Why, we trade just about everything you can think of. Camps, tires, guns, bullets, food, brahmin, dirt, even scrap, scraps of metal. Dirt? Scraps of meat? You'd be surprised at what's in demand out there. Something that's taken for granted in one place may be a highly sought after commodity in a settlement 10 miles away. Okay, enough with the boring merchant chatter. Where's the door? Oh no. Sounds good. Do you need help? You're looking for work, are you? You look all right. Well, you should probably talk to Butch. He's through the door behind me. All right, well, uh, let's talk to Butch and see what happens. What do you want? All right, so this must be a very important character since uh, he has animated dialogue. Um, 
I need to ask you a few questions. Time is money, chit chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? Uh, here for the what or the money? Uh, what job? Well, some caravans have been disappearing on us lately. Damn if anyone can figure out what happened to him. So, what do you want me to do? I bet you didn't even look for them. Wow. So, what do you want me to do? Simple. Find out who's doing it and tell me. Or take them out. Makes no damn difference to me. Just get that job done. Any clues on who's doing this? Well, there's, uh... <clears throat> something, but... I never listen to those rumors. Well, I do. What is it? You, uh, you really want to hear it, huh? Well, some say it's the Death Claw, but, but I don't know nothing about that. And now we hear of the Death Claws for the first time in the Fallout, in the Fallout universe. The original game presents us with the Death Claw, so. You sound scared. Listen, you. I ain't scared. I'm cautious. You'd be stupid not to be with the death claw. Look, go talk to Beth. She'll tell you more. Uh, sorry. I'll go check it out. Done and done. Now get on out of here. But come back and talk to me when you found something. Why did he? Why? Why does it feel like he he got angry at us? Like, I mean, if I would be scared and someone pointed it out, I wouldn't be, have such a harsh reaction. You know what I mean? I mean, let's try this one more time because I feel, I don't know why I feel like we just missed out on a longer conversation. Um, I'm looking for what, what, what is it that you do here? What sort of things do you trade? Then we talked about dirt. Uh, sounds good. Do you need help? You sure? And then we, he told us to go inside and then what we went want? inside. I need to ask Time you a few questions. What money. job? Well, some caravans have been disappearing on us. So what do you want me to do? Find any, out who's doing it and tell me. Any well, clues? There's, uh, <clears throat> you, uh, you really want to hear it. Huh? How do I find out about oh. the deck, about some the death claw? How do you... Go talk to Beth. She knows more about that crap. Yep, you're uh, scared. Uh, I'll go check it out. So, I okay, we didn't miss out on anything. I'll go check it out. I need some more information. Quick. Uh, heard any good rumors? Tell me about yourself. What else is around here besides the hub? What's in the hub? Well, you got the junk town to the north and the Brotherhood of Steel to the northwest. And, of course, the Boneyard to the south. Uh, what else is around here besides the hub? Uh, what's in the hub? And what do I look like? Uh, uh, one of those tourist things? Jeez. <laughs> okay, I just want to know some general places. No, you seem to be a brilliant man. Okay. Well, you got old town and the heights, but that's just houses. Downtown's got all the stores and stuff. Old Town and the Heights. So Old Town is the one to the east and the Heights to the west, I guess, maybe. Okay, uh, what's in the hub? Yeah, what else is around here besides the hub? Okay, um, tell me about yourself. Hmm. What do you want to know? Uh, just curious. Well, I've run the Fargo Traders for about five years. Before that, I was in Adderton. Before that, near the Glow. Okay, uh, what's, uh, heard any good rumors? Yeah, just the normal stuff. Oh, come on, there has to be something I can use. Well, there's, uh, <clears throat> something, but you... Oh, uh, oh, it's the death really claw. Hear it, huh? How do you... Go talk to Beth, okay. Go talk I to need Beth. some she more information, more I'll go done check it done. out. All right, done and done. He says, and then uh, the job pays 500 bucks when you when you can tell Butch exactly what has been happening to all of the caravans that wait that have disappeared recently. So collect any proof you might find. 
I personally think it's those damn water merchants or those gun freaks at the Brotherhood of Steel. Butch thinks it's some claw of death or something. Check with Beth. She would know more about that. What's the what's the Brotherhood of Steel? What do you know about the Death Claw? Uh, we, I mean, we heard about the Brotherhood of Steel before, I think. They are really strange. They worship technology or something like that. They have a hell of a lot of firepower. They could easily take out the caravan there to the northwest. What do you know about the Death Claw? Oh yeah, Death Claw, whatever. They're all crazy. It's just people's imagination getting carried away. There's no ghost or monster or whatever it's supposed to be. Just stick with reality and you'll be fine. Where's Beth? Uh, I think... Oh, Beth's right out of that door and to the right. She runs our weapon shop. Tell her you're working for us and you'll get a 15% discount. Voucher activated. Okay. Thanks. Bye. All right. Well, we talked to him and we know that one stack of the ammo that we like using was 833 bucks. Now, if we go back, hopefully. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. We didn't tell her yet. Wait, what happens if we didn't tell her yet? Okay. Oh, oh, wait, wait isn't that something doesn't add up? <laughs> wait a second. That. Why does it feel like it's more than 15%? 512 is almost only two, two thirds out of the 833. Am I right? Maybe it's a bit lower. I mean, 833 would be 412. 412 would have been 50%. So I think it's not a 15% discount, it's even more. And here's the thing, if we get a discount on the things or or on the things that we sell, no we don't. Okay, okay. So we we still have the same sell price, so this didn't go up. She's not buying our stuff for more and selling us stuff for cheaper. So okay, let's uh let's do that. N last time it was 5000 and now it's only 3000. So I think it's somewhere at around 60% of the original price. I think that is pretty good, right? That has to be pretty good. So now we can sell this, that, those, hello. That's only 2000. Oh. Okay, what about oh, okay. Yeah, we can throw in some uh, caps too. I don't think we need shotgun shells, or do we? Hmm. Huh. Well, maybe we don't need... <sighs> the BB gun ammo isn't on me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so... One point... Oh, uh, yeah, that's all first. Good. And then that would be 400 caps. 404 caps to match the price. Good. Nice. Oh my god, 8k. 8k. We are we are rolling. And now let's talk to Beth after we traded. Beth, listen. I talked to Butch. What's the name of the guy, Butch? I think it was Butch. Um, can I ask you some questions? What's the word out of zero about, about the missing caravans? What do you know about the death claw? Okay. What's the word out on the street about the missing caravans? Some people think the water merchants are responsible, but I don't think so. I think it was that darn death claw or maybe the people over at the Brotherhood of Steel. Now... Here's the thing, we know that the Brotherhood of Steel only cares about technology, they don't care about killing uh, caravans. Uh, we know for a fact that, I mean, why would the water merchants kill their own people? So, or like, make them disappear. Uh, so, I don't think it's the water merchants, it's probably the death clock, because we already heard about them. So why, do you, why, don't, why don't you think it's the water merchants? No. What exactly is a Death Claw? 
The Deathclaw is the most evil thing to rise out of the ashes after the war. Some say it's a powerful ghost from the war that haunts the land. It's no ghost. It's as real as you and me. It's 20 feet tall with teeth as big as your arm. Uh, it's some kind of a demon that, uh, fa that found its way here when the world was engulfed in fire. Uh, sorry, I asked. Uh, do you know anything else about the Deathclaw? Wow, do you know where it is? Yeah, pretty amazing, isn't it? It's down to the southwest somewhere. There's an old mutant in Old Town named Harold who actually saw this thing in its lair. Nicest keg, I know. Another qu another question about the missing caravans. Um, that thanks. Let's get back to uh, to the merchants. Anyone else you know? who might have see some information about the Deathclaw. Uncle Sloppy over uh, over in Old Town talks about it sometimes, but he's just a crazy old fool. Another question about the missing caravans. Uh, thanks, let's get back to the merchants. Thanks, I'll go check it out. Okay, let's uh, go check it out. But first, let's finish with this uh, place. So we already talked to everyone here, but we didn't go into the Maltese Falcon and uh, we didn't uh, check out these buildings to the south. Oh, can we interact with this? Oh, sure we can. Need work. The Fargo traders are currently filling the following positions. One caravan guards. Must be in good physical condition and dependable. Two, special position must be observant and willing to travel in dangerous territory. Own weapons and ammo required for all jobs. Inquire with uh, Rutger at the Fargo Trader's office. Okay. All right. Is this a peasant? Oh, it's a named NPC. Well, let's save. Let's save from time to time, shall we, boys? All right, give me just a second. I'm gonna bring myself a glass of water. I'm getting a sore throat. Guys, just give me a second. <coughs> <laughs> I can't believe that we started the stream an hour ago and uh, we we just barely touched the surface with uh, with the hub. I thought that uh, <clears throat> that it would uh, it would we would get through content much much faster, but no. So uh, if we go talk to Irvin, let's see what does he have to say. Oh boy, can't you leave me alone? I have enough problems on my on my hands already. Um, like you are the only one with problems. Okay, okay, no reason to yell at me. Problems? Maybe I can help you? This is a tragedy, believe me. Nothing is the way it used to be. I have a small farm outside of town. Outside town. And a few days ago, a bunch of raiders appeared out of nowhere and now use my home as their camp. They killed... Pugsley, my donkey, and they threatened to kill me if I ever dare to come back. Ah, <sighs> boy, oh boy. Just tell me where, where, and uh, I'll take care of the rest. Sorry, Irvin, but I have more important things to do. Well, let's ask him. Really? You would do that? You know, I don't dare to go there anymore. Why don't you come back and let me know when it is safe to go back home again. Done. Oh, okay. Well, he literally teleported us to the place. I wasn't expecting this. I don't think I ever did this quest. So I think the raiders are inside, which means that if I go into... See, we, we don't need the sensor. We, we can do this. So there are two raiders there. Two there, two there, and one one there. Okay. Uh, here's the thing. I'm going to open the door, and I think I'm going to block the door because I don't want these guys to die. So how about we... 
uh, I don't know, Raider. Raider is clearing one. Let's let's uh, save it as is. And uh, let me pull out my weapon and have a, a stim pack close by. Because, you know, you never know. And let's please ask these guys. No, uh... Why are we in combat? Oh, I forgot, yeah. Uh, draw your best weapon next time. Thank you. And let's uh, ask this other guy to draw your best weapon next time. Please, thank you. And never mind. Oh, let's reload just before. All right, and now I'm going to save. Just making sure. All right, so... There we go. And he missed. Now, do I want to just shoot him in the face twice? Or do I want to aim at his head? Great question. I think I'm going to shoot him twice. Yeah, that's more like it. We were hit for seven. And another seven. I mean, we could always... Uh... Get out of the doorway. Yes! That's what I was hoping for. Thank you. We are going to have to reload soon. Okay. I'm going to have to reload now so I can make a... Uh, a targeted shot and we are going to shoot him in the head. Alright. That didn't do much. Okay. Um, I have an idea. How about we get out of the way and let uh, our teammates get stuck in? Or I could always use a stim pack. Wait, I, I, I used it on myself. Why didn't it work? You don't have enough action points. Oh, shit. Okay. But how, mu how much... Wait, I don't understand. It was only 2 AP. And we did have 2 AP. What? Oh, it takes 5? But it... It said 2. Or... You see, I mean... Guys, you see that? That's, that's a 2, right? That's... That... Oh, that was the reload. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, in that case... Um... Yeah, let's, uh... Let's let our, our guys get stuck in. There we go. Let's go inside. And make a targeted shot at this guy's eyes. Oh, we missed. I took a gamble on that, but it's okay. All right, he dead. Nice. Oh, these two guys are melee. It's okay. Wait, 
Wait, oops, Taiko was hit instead of the raider? Is Ian literally trying to shoot this guy instead of the other one? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Taiko is sitting literally in the doorway. And, and Taiko was hit again. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, right. Nice. What about this guy? Nobody wants to shoot that guy? What, what is going on? Eat this, he says. <laughs> Whoa, that was a critical. Look at this. Raider was critically hit in the head for 57 hit points. The attack crushes the temple. Good night, Gracie. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, I think uh, I think we're done. All right, let's loot. Ooh, Desert Eagles. Hello. That is uh, that is something. 14 mil pistols too. Hmm. Not bad. I think that's uh, that should be an upgrade to the pistols that we have. Interesting. Wow, this place is loaded. Okie doke. Let's see what this. Oh, Desert Eagle. Not another one. More ammo. More ammo too. This guy had the shotgun. Nice. Yeah, we don't. Oh, I almost fought. So. Two caps and this. I don't even know. Should we get? Should we take the spike knuckle? Ah uh, no! Nah. Wow, this one only had two. Wait. Oh uh, yeah, these melee guys didn't have that much on them. Well, it is what it is. We can go back and. Uh... But how many? How much for fourteen uh, mil ammo do we have? Only ninety. 90. How good is this compared to uh, the hunting rifle that we have? Whoa, this is a clean upgrade. This is a clear upgrade. I mean, we it's, it doesn't have the range and it has less ammo per mag. But the min damage is 12 instead of 8. And the max is 2 more. So that's like... Uh, 28 versus um, 34 that's the six damage difference in rolls so yeah uh, we, we're gonna use this pistol nice for now that is whoa whoa whoa, whoa. what is that no 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 I see steam pack interesting honestly it looked like an armor instead of a stim pack but sure sure game now since we can't come back here okay let's just uh let's just loot everything because i know that we can't come back here because it's gonna teleport us back so this isn't like a known location on map unfortunately Let's see. No. Did I did I loot everything? I think I did. Anything in here? Anything of value? Anything is in these boxes? Nope. Anything on the table? Nope. Well. Well, well, well. 
I think we did it. Nice. All right. Uh, I think we should save. Save raid, raiders clearing. And before he tells us that we killed someone important. <laughs> but I don't think so. All right. We are back. Let's talk to the guy. So, have you been able to teach those raiders a lesson? Is my home safe again? It sure is, buddy. I didn't have time... the time yet. No, it sure is, buddy. Oh, thank you so much. I'm sorry I don't have any riches to give you, but here. Take this rifle and uh, for saving my life. Okay, did we just get a hunting rifle? Oh, wait, what? Oh... But is this better? Oh, now this is the upgrade. Wow, 20 to 30 damage. I mean, one lower, but it has better range. And it uses the um, full metal jacket that we use in the hunting rifle. So, in... And for that, we already have 427 rounds. So, hey, yes. Well, in that case, we can give this pistol to Ian and we can tell him to use that instead of uh, whatever he's using right now. Yeah, let's trade with him. Yes, Ian, please take this upgrade. This is going to be really good for you. Trust me. All of it. Thank you. Well, while we are here, actually, no, I'm going to sell these guns. Actually, I'm going to sell these guns. Do we have any... Uh, we have two Desert Eagles to sell anyway. Yeah. Hey, uh... Great stuff. I think... Uh, well... We could still upgrade. Uh, what's the... Uh, Taiko with the hunting rifle. But that means that we would have to split the ammo with him. And right now he's using... Uh, uh, shotgun shells anyway. So I'm just gonna do this for now. I mean, yeah, let's let's give him the ammo too. Because he uses some some of that. So let's uh, just do this. Because the rest we are going to sell. And let's give uh, Taiko uh, shotgun shells. All right, so he only has uh, 34 shotgun shells. That's not a problem. We can give him more. There you go. And do you have stim packs? No, you don't have that much, that many. So let's give him seven stim packs too. Just because, you know, we are we are the good guys here. We are the good guys. We, we take care of our companions. All right, boys. Um... Oh, never mind for a good um, it's okay all right we cleared the raid uh the raiders we can uh, save this now we good so we literally have a huge upgrade as a weapon like holy moly that's almost double the damage we used to do or no no not not double but it is it is something to say the least all right well what can I say? Um, what should we do next? We should... They tell, told us to go to the old town. Oh, we didn't explore the Maltese Falcon. Falcon. The Falcon. Mm -hmm. No problem. Let's go there. Uh... We see a very upset gambler. You see a roulette dealer. Very upset gambler. Drunk. Bartender. No named... Oh, Kane. There we go. A named NPC. Anyone named in here? You see a mercenary. Oh, oh. can we hire him? You see a very pretty lady. Oh boy. She's mine. Okay, who's your oh. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, excuse me, sir. Ex excuse me. 
Excuse me. All right, now. We don't have good gambling skill, but we could. We could try. But nah, uh, we don't. We don't have a good gambling skill. We won't be. We won't be winning. All right, let's uh, talk to the NPC. I've heard of you. You're the one that took out Gizmo over in Junktown. Killen must have paid you a good sum for that job. Are you here for some work? Maybe? What's the job and what's it pay? Work for this dump? You've got to be joking. Sorry, maybe later. What's the job and what's it pay? It's not skag work. You'll need to do it quick and clean. The boss will give you details, but it's more money than you'll make in a month working for the caravans. But only if you're good enough. We don't take kindly to failures. If you know what I mean. Sounds good. I can't right now. Who do you do? I who do I have to kill? Sounds good. I'm sure you're familiar with our sort of business, so let me just say it would be in your best interest to keep this to yourself, shall we? All right, take me to your boss and let's so, see what happens. You're looking for a job. How fortunate. I have one that needs doing. Ah, oh, but where are my manners? What's your name? Well, I am Lucy and I'm looking for a water chip. <laughs> well, if it would be that easy, huh? The pleasantries are now concluded. Do you wish to hear about the job? Well, the pleasantries are going to do is um. That's why I'm here. Background. There's a certain merchant who's, how to phrase this, not cooperating fully with the underground. And the job? Quite simple. Hunt down the merchant and his wife. And exterminate them. How much for the job? Uh, you mean to kill them? All a matter of semantics, but yes, kill them. Will you take the job? Um, sure, why not? Uh, how much? Oh, excellent. The standard pay is 500 scripts to open. And another 2,500 to close. Where can I find this merchant? They live in the Heights on Barter Street and Thunder Avenue. Complete the job in return. Okay. They live in the Heights on Barter Street and Thunder Avenue. Complete the job and... Uh, how how will you know I killed them? I don't understand. Why don't we get more details ab about this? I thought that at least he would tell us like why he's trying to kill him or like what who 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 are they and what are do, do they do? Okay, I will. How will you know I killed them? How will you know I killed them? Trust me, I'll know. Okay, I'll do it. Quite excellent. My assistant will remunerate you on the way out. Please. Close the door behind you. But that's, uh... Merchant and wife... Uh, so, the merchant and his wife live over to the west from here. They are on the corner of Barter Street and Thunder Avenue in the Heights. You'll probably have guards. Try to be quiet about it and be sure you aren't seen. But if anyone does happen to see you, make sure they don't live to tell anyone about it. Once you've finished your little errand, come back here. One more thing, don't even think about going to the police. That's the worst mistake you could ever make. If you can, try not try not to track their attention when doing your work. They can be quiet, a pain sometimes. Kane gives you 500 caps. Okay. Interesting. So we just got 500 caps. That's okay. And since it doesn't in it doesn't really uh do anything. So here's the thing, it does it won't do anything for the outcome of the game, like I like I told you guys, since the cut quest 
uh, with the Iguana Bob. The Iguana Bob's cut quest from uh, fall from the original Fallout uh, will end the game uh, for the hub still as the desolate place, so it doesn't really uh, do anything for the outcome of the game. So, um, we can do that job, but first, let's try and see... Let's try and go to, uh, to the east and, uh, see what happens to the Fargo traders. Okay, uh, did I... Oh, is there like a... Wait a second. Oh, stuff. Oh my god, I, I want to try and uh, <laughs> unlock the door and uh, sneak in. Sorry, I'm being distracted. Sorry, guys. Let's sneak and lockpick. Okay, we unlock the door. We are still sneaking, so that's good. Oh man, that's 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 it. Okay. Actually, let's uh, exit. Actually, I didn't even try loot uh, the things here. Oh, they are empty. <laughs> All of these are empty. Oh, uh, okay. I think the devs thought about this one, though. <laughs> All right, let's go to the east and see uh, what lies there. So now we know that we are going to have a quest to the west. All righty then. So we have... Uh, yeah, let's explore from top to bottom here. All right, let's, let's do that. What's inside of here? Mm -hmm. There's an NPC in here, but I don't think... Is it my bad time yet? Oh boy, okay. So no one's in there. Oh, tough guy. Jake? Jake's weapon high prices, but really good guns. Hi, welcome to Jackie's. I've got some great merchandise in stock. Feel free to look around. He doesn't only have this in stock, but at the same time, he only... He also has... Um, down here in the bottom right corner, a follow button on Twitch and a subscription button on YouTube. So if you guys like the content, don't forget to just hit the button. I, I really try to keep it clean, no banners, no ads, no nothing, so your direct support is the most important one, so thank you guys for tuning in. Alright, continuing. Feel free to look around. Uh, I would like to make a deal with you. Uh, what are you selling here? What can you tell me about a water chip? Man, you do like the rare stuff. Where, where were you when I was selling some depleted uranium rounds a few years back? I don't do chips though. Ain't the market in it. Anything else? Show me what you've got. Uh, then tell me about... Uh, tell me what you do have. I deal with high... High-end arms. The best, the best stuff you can find. Uh, this side of the Brotherhood. And since the Brotherhood of... The Brotherhood doesn't deal with outsiders. I've got to say I'm the best. I have a sniper rifle and you would be hard pressed to find flamethrower fuel anywhere else in the waste. Oh yeah, I've got a Geiger counter too. Oh, I just re I just remembered that we forgot to, um, to check one other place uh, in, in the center. There was a building that I think we, we forgot to check out. Uh, show me what you got. We can go back uh, after this to that place. Uh, how much does one of these cost? Oh. Wow. When when Ian said that this place is expensive. Whoa. 
I mean, usually this is like 120. Look at this. Look at this markup. What is this? I don't think we are going to trade with this guy, but he has rockets. Oh, hello? One rocket is 1.4k, one, 1. though. I mean, just imagine. Just imagine. What is this, though? A flamer? We don't want a flamer. Flamer is hard to control, I think. But he has plasma grenades. That's too expensive, though. Holy moly. Rocket launcher? How expensive? Oh, 18k for a rocket launcher. Whoa. <coughs> okay, man. 46,000? Okay. That's scalping. That's like, that's like buying... That's like buying a 3090 Ti when when uh, GPUs were were scarce. Do you guys remember that? Mm -hmm. Okay, like three thousand dollars for a for a GPU. Okay, thank you. No, no, thank you. Whoa, wow, we we were. That's fifteen k for a sniper rifle. Why is this so expensive though? I mean, he has the good ammo. He has the FMJ. I mean, that's... Oh, and then, then he has this ammo too. But a thousand? What is this? And how much does he pay? Only 800? No, no, this doesn't make sense. This doesn't make any sense. We won't be buying from this guy, but hey, at least he has some good stuff on him. Look, he has a combat shotgun. 20k? What is this? That's that's too much. No thanks. All right. See you. That's that's just too much, man. Hey, do you have anything on these shelves? No. Okay, well I tried. What about here? Do you have anything here back here? Hello. Oh, okay, you have some caps. Well, don't mind me taking them. Um, um, uh, finders keepers, bye. All right. Well, let's save. Just to make sure that uh, we're good. All right. Let's go inside of here. We see vents. What can I do for you? Who are you? What goes on in this building? Who are you? The name is Vance, and that's all you need to know. Can I get you anything? How should I know if uh, if you don't tell me what you're selling? Good to meet you, Vance. What do you have to sell? You seem okay. Here's what I've got. Okay, well... So, how much... Yeah, see? that The, the other guy sold us steam packs for like 700 bucks. That doesn't make any sense. You know what? We are going to do this. Thank you. So, what does he have? Red X. Red X, we are going to. Uh, we don't need 28. We are going to need two for the glow. And I don't know if we need any more, but if we need any more for uh, uh, the. Um, what, what's. Um, what's the other place that has like ghouls in it? The glow is going to need red X. That 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 I know for sure. Uh yeah, but the necro the necro place with the mutants. I don't know if that requires uh any red X, but we already have red away too. So uh let's just uh let's just do that. Should we take more? Yeah, let's uh let's get ten stim packs. You know what? Let's let's take all the stim packs because we might need them. I'm not gonna use super stim packs because those damage us. So th those are really good, but they also damage you. All right, and we are going to. We are going to give you one, two, a shotgun, a hunting rifle. Take one shotgun back. Give you this. Take the hunting rifle back. All right. We are now, we are now bartering. 
take one of this do you have do you have uh caps no you don't have caps uh-huh well in that case mm, we need every system of strange unknown chemicals of prob of probably military origin it is supposed to increase the combat potential of a soldier yeah we, we don't need that what about mantats what do they do Increase memory related functions and, and speeds other mental processes causes cra cravings. Uh, I think that's uh, intelligence and we are good on intelligence. Thank you. This is the anti-venom. The anti-venom and antidote. So we don't need that. And what is the buff out? Uh, highly advanced steroids. So this is for strength, I guess. Strength and reflexes. So strength and agility. So we are good on that. We are pretty high on that anyway. And what does booze do? Anciently, I mean, I think that's charisma. We don't really have to boost per se. So should we? I think we're fine. I think we are fine. Whoops. Take that back and let's give him a few caps. And that should be it. Uh, we need to give him 80 caps. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, one cap. <clears throat> okay, we have the red axe that we are going to need for the glow. I mean, we know, um, <clears throat> and what else, what else do we, do we still need? I mean, we should probably give the rest to Ian because we're pretty much full. But yeah. How do I get inside of here? There are two doors. All right. Let's see what's inside of here. Oh, I think I remember what this is, but I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. I think I remember this place. All right, let's go downstairs. Oh, it's locked. Uh, let's uh, unlock it. Cool. Oh my god. It's good that I was only hit for two points. Holy shit. All right. Um, can we? So I want to unlock. And I also want to... You fail to find any traps, huh? Is it not the door, maybe? The door is already unlocked. You fail to... Let's unlock this too. Just for the XP. Okay. Apparently, oh my god, Dogmeat was hit for 8 points, Taiko was hit for 4 points. Alright. But I, I didn't, I didn't uh, detect any, any traps. Oh, the door is already unlocked, good. Alright, so what do you guys... Hi, welcome to the Circle of Thieves. Play your cards right and you're in what do you want tell me about the circle tell me about decker tell me about the missing caravans well we are interested in everything tell me about the circle if you're lucky you'll consider yourself one of us by the end of the day at home part of the furniture you know tell me about decker we don't discuss mr decker in polite company does that imply that you think that I'm polite or you're being polite right now? <laughs> like, what do you mean? Tell uh, tell me about the missing caravans. We had nothing to do with that. Well, that's what any... Any guilty people would say. But okay, hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. That was interesting. Nothing on the bookshelf. You thieves guild. 
this sounds more like the thieves guild that you find in skyrim do you guys uh do you guys play skyrim as much as you uh play fallout 2 is that did, did you ever play that or did you hey uh don't mind me i'm gonna, just gonna look at your okay bloody impressive making it through the defenses like that hmm? what's your name love love i'm not your love you got a real interesting accent my friend what is this place what is it to you what is this place this is the famous thieves circle i thought you would have known this seeing as how you made it through all the defenses and whatnot but no matter you're quite promising and the circle could use someone like you uh no thanks i would like to ask you some questions though or okay what do i have to do quite simple really you prove yourself as a thief succeed and the world is yours if not then you'll never see us again except if you come looking and if you don't understand that last bit is a threat well here's the thing lucy would usually just focus on the task at hand uh in the tv show she she usually disregarded everything she was like no i i need to find my dad I need to find him and and just please like could you could you stop that okay uh but uh then again she all also started uh becoming a wastelander wanderer herself when she started helping out people and she started caring about the people outside the vault so uh maybe she would be interested but i mean we can do this quest i mean we are going to be doing this uh 100 run but from Lucy's perspective, I think she would just be like, hey, where can I find the water chip? If you're not of use, like, please stop with your shenanigans, okay? Okay, so what's the test? Do you mean you'll move this whole place if I fail or try to kill me? Uh, what's the test? It's so, so simple. In the Heights, you'll find Darren Hightower's home all plump and ripe for the picking. Are you ready for life? Do you accept the challenge? Um, hell well, no. Then why the bloody hell are you here? Sightseeing the ambiance? My handsome face. Uh, no, I come to ask you a few questions. You must be joking. You think I'd fall for a line? Okay, let's hope this didn't... Bloody impressive okay. making it through the defenses like that, hmm? What's your name, love? It feels like... It feels like he literally forgot that we just talked to him, which is good. If he's like senile or something, that's good. <laughs> um, uh, well, what's it to you? What's it to me? It's simple, really. Tell me your name or we show you the door. Okay, I'm Lucy. Quite pleased to make your acquaintance, actually, for now. Let's get the other bit of politeness taken care of, shall we? What the bloody, bloody, bloody hell are you doing here? I want to join the circle. I need to ask you a few questions. I'm taking you all off to jail. <laughs> I want to join the circle. Oh, how nice. A joiner. Well, you've worked hard enough for a look-see. But if you really want to join, then you'll have to take the second test. What's that? Quite simple, really. You prove yourself as a thief, succeed, and the world is yours. If not, then you'll never see us again. Except if you come looking. And if you don't understand, that last bit is a threat. All right, what's the test? It's so, so simple. In the Heights, you'll find Darren Hightower's home all plump and ripe for the picking. Are you ready for life? Do you accept the challenge? Yes, I'm ready. That's the spirit line. Let's go. Just talk to Jasmine in the room outside this chamber. She'll give you details, a map, and a few little goodies to help you on your way. But remember, if you even think about ratting us out to the cops, we'll be a memory before they arrive. But enough gloom. Cheerio, good luck, and ta-ta. Okay. We, we get 900 XP and a level up. Oh, hello. All right. Perk number two. Uh, what do we, what do we want as a perk? 
Oh, we just unlocked a bunch of stuff. Wait. All right, we have bonus hand-to-hand -hand attacks. We don't care about that because uh, because we are not a melee character. We have bonus move. For each level of bonus move, you get two free APs each turn that can only be used for movement. In other words, you can move two, ex two free hexes each turn for each level of this perk. Bonus range damage. Earlier sequence. Educated. Will add plus two skill points when you gain a new experience level. This perk works best when purchased early in your adventure. Empathy. Uh, fortune finder. Friendly foe. Healer. Heave ho. Thrown weapons with more criticals. Oh, more criticals would be okay. Mysterious Stranger. No. Uh, I mean, Mysterious Stranger only works in... Um, uh, so the problem with the Mysterious Stranger that he only appears in... He can only appear or he has a chance to appear only in, uh, in um, events that you get into. Uh, surprise events that you get into while uh, traveling on the world map. So that's not a good perk night vision mm, quick pockets not really ranger you are better able to avoid unwanted attention while traveling through the wasteland your chance of a hostile random encounter yeah for for yeah yeah the random encounters that's what i meant i mean event random encounter you know is lowered by each level of this perk scout sharpshooter The talent of hitting things at longer distances, you get a plus two bonus for each level of this perk. Of this perk. Determining range modifier, it's easier than ever to kill at long range. Smooth talker, snake eater, and swift learner. You are indeed a swift learner with this perk as each level will give you an additional plus 5% bonus whenever you earn experience points best purchased at an early level. So this would be the second perk that we that we got. Well, here's the thing. I don't know what would be best, but I think bonus move. We are a very agile character and we really like moving around while in combat. So maybe the bonus move is just better. And just imagine if you shoot someone from, from cover and then you go into cover and then next round you get out of cover, you shoot them, you go back into cover. I think this, was, this would be really good, by the way. Bonus range damage is like only like a plus two flat if this would have been a percentage i would have liked it but i don't like the fact that it's only like a flat um yeah friendly characters that are part of your team are highlighted green in combat yeah no more criticals like plus five percent chance to cause a critical hit that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. But you know what? I'm going to take the bonus move. I I think the bonus move is the way to go. All right, let's let's take the bonus move. Having more AP available just just to move before you shoot. I mean, now we can shoot twice, right? And then move two tiles. I think that's pretty huge, okay? From my perspective that is. All right, we have speech maxed out. We have lockpick almost maxed out. Let's uh, max out lockpick. And then what should we do next? Maybe repair. Yeah, let's uh, let's boost repair a bit. All right, anything else? Karma twenty three. All right. 
yeah look at this we we've been killing more men than women that's like that's like a that's like a three to one ratio we kill three times more men than women all right can i uh can i get out of this place please thank you all right we leveled up let's just uh save real quick uh where should we let's uh let's call this thieves guild or thieves thieves questing one all right it is what it is we oh, oh no 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 we, we, we were we were meant to talk to a lady right jasmine was it jasmine or cleo uh tell me about luxley <clears throat> he's the boss what else is there to know okay hi done was uh jasmine i think welcome to the zip uh, what do you mean by favorite uh i'm jasmine i'm here to help your infiltration of the darren height of tower estate as painless as possible high towers estate is located in the heights it has a minimum of two guards on duty at all times the necklace is probably in a strong box which often have some minor traps so be careful here are some lockpicks and a couple of flares to make your job a little easier what do you use flares for in this game i've never used flares yet <clears throat> and a bottle of nuka cola try not to kill mr hightower he's one of our favorite people you got all that what do you mean by favorite Well, he's been our benefactor on many occasions. If you kill him, someone smarter may take his place. We wouldn't like that, would we now? Okay. Uh, oh, come on. Okay, well, we, we can't ask for any more info, but let's leave then. All right, let's explore this area. Let's see if there's anyone important here. This looks empty. Yeah, it looks empty because uh, you know, guys, it is empty. No problem though we can move out where's my blanky blanky oh pretty pretty stuff why is the moon Beth told me to talk to you about the death claw what do you do around here do i do then you do then we all do no really what do you do i do this then i do that you see harold harold's fun his hair falls out, falls in the wind. There it goes, wind, wind. Um, it looks like this guy's uh, cuckoo, but uh, we are going to ask him about the death claw in a second. Let's just explore this area. I think this is the mutant that we have to talk to, if I'm correct. Spare change, old friend, old pal. Can you help a poor mutant down on his luck? <laughs> so uh in old fallout a mutant is pretty much the ghoul okay so ghouls are equals to mutants now there are super mutants and i think that this is like a semi ghoul semi mutant and i don't want to spoil the reasons why but uh, you are going to see um yeah here's 25 good luck to you oh kind of your friend very kind you know, if I could clear the gunk out of there, you uh, just might find a tear in old Harold's eye. Why is that? <laughs> Rest of the hubbers been picking on me like a bad booger since I came back to town. I can't leave, though. When the deals are done, it's still my home. 
Yeah, but what happened to you? I mean, look at your face. Look at your body. I mean, guys, just imagine. Just imagine if you would have ever met someone like this for the first time. You would probably freak out. You would you would probably ask like, oh my God, what is wrong with you? Like, <laughs> oh no. What happened to you? Well, after the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. <sighs> Long time. Tell me more about those days. No, no, I meant what happened to change you. Uh, tell me more about those days. All started with the sirens. I was young, but oh, I do remember that. A lot of terrible years followed. Then I remember walking out of the vault late one morning. Oh, so he, he comes from a vault. Uh, where was your vault located? Uh, what did you do then? You know, I'm not real sure anymore. West, I think. Oh, wait, uh, east? Oh, I don't know. I... <laughs> what you, did you do then? Well, uh, I was a trader. Did pretty good making the circuit between survivors. Lost a lot of good people, though. <laughs> okay, how? Uh, gangers got them. Scavengers attacking the caravans and mutants. Son of a dog, if they weren't springing up like rabbits with a mission. <laughs> Had to have an army of guards with just to do a deal. Uh, okay. Uh, didn't the guards help? Where were the mutants coming from? Or didn't the guards help? Yeah, where were the mutants coming from? Everywhere. Hell, seemed like you couldn't fart without hitting one. But mostly in the northwest. Hmm, okay, did you explore the area? We mounted an expedition. God, Richard. Richard Gray led a small group of us up there. Uh, Richard Gray? Richard Gray was a doctor. A little older than me, and Fran was he smart. He found the source. A source of what? Some sort of old military base. We lost a lot of folks getting in there. How did you know this base was the cause? Because it was like someone went bargain shopping at Mutant Land. Whew, cheaper by the dozens. Can't figure any other reason except that being the factory. Did you examine the base closely? We got pretty far inside. Wasn't a lot of us left by then. Gray, me, and a couple of others. And then? One of them robots got Francine. Mark was wounded, sent him back to the surface. Then it was just me and Gray. Whatever happened to Mark? To this day, I don't know. He never made it back here, and... Well, I... Couldn't face the wasteland again, so... I, I never looked. What about you and Gray? We made it to some sort of central core, like a plant of some sort. That's when it happened. Well, what a exactly? robot crane crashed into us. Last I saw Gray, he was flying through the air and into some sort of acid bath. I was in bad shape and, well, I passed out. Well, how, how did you survive? Didn't. Got killed. <laughs> God, I love that joke. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell. We can't tell. Well, I have no idea. Woke up in the wasteland, barely hanging on. Got lucky, and some traders I knew found me days later. Good thing, since I was already changing. They brought me here, and here I've been since. Uh, how did you mutate? All I know is it was something inside that base. Oh, okay. Do you think it could have been radiation? How the hell should I know? Gray would have known if anybody could. <sighs> anyway... That's how the deal went down. Well, thanks for the story. Well, thanks for letting me tell it. All right, well, here's the thing oh, we need. Oh, hey, it's you again. 
Uh, here's 20 if you need it. Anything I can do for you? I need info on the death claw, and I hear you're the man. Ooh, that thing. Friend, that is Nightmare City. Why the hell are you asking about that? Why the hell are we... I mean, I'm gonna kill it. If it catches up to, with me, I want to know what to do. I'm gonna kill it. Okay. Well, it's like a damn big man is what it is. Got spikes and claws that can cut through the heaviest armor. But don't let the size fool you. It's quick. Any weaknesses? So we... So at least now we know that it is going to be quick. So uh, we are going to have to keep distance, but they are going to catch uh, up to us. Now, we just... Oh my God. This is playing out really well because we just took the bonus move. Uh, and I don't know how how tough that um, fight is going to be with the death claw. <clears throat> Any weaknesses? Well, from what I've heard, maybe whack it in the head. I'd try the eyes course there's a problem there oh uh, what kind of problem i can't look at him it is said the death claw can hypnotize just by looking then it walks up and boom you're it great <laughs> good to know thanks good luck to you you're gonna need it could be all right um well Okay, let's uh, give space for my companions. All right, let's just save the game and see what this guy this guy has to uh, tell us. Oh man! Um, wow, we are using up all of our save slots. So uh, we are right now. Um, I don't even know. Like um, Death Claw. Quest one. Okay. All right, let's talk to this guy. Ooh, pretty, pretty stuff. Why is the moon? Um, I talk with Harold. The death claw sounds pretty nasty. What can you tell me about it? Death claw, death claw, da da, death claw. Uh, come on. What do you know about the death claw? Death Claw scary? Really scary. Looks neat though. Wanna see it? Wait, you can take me to the Death Claw? Oh boy, is it gonna be just the same like the other guy did with the Raider? So now we spawn in in front of a Death Claw? All right, let's go. All right, yeah, Death Claw, Death Claw, going to see the Death Claw. Uh, just shut up and take me there. All right, uh, let's actually save. Death Claw Quest 2. Uh, actually, let me let me go combat and let's see. Okay, we have a Death Claw here and we have nothing up there. So we need to go south. All right. But here's the thing. Yep. All right. Let's hope that the death claw attacks me and not my companions. Because that's not going to be great. Oh, that was a huge range. Hey, by the way, by the way, just, just before we die here, okay? Just before we die, I really want to let you know, guys, both whoever's watching on twitch and whoever's watching on youtube that you can always subscribe you can always push, push that like thank you guys for tuning in thank you guys for being here papa frank is here to stay we are going to do this entire fallout original game series throughout fallout 4 all the games 100 percent as role playing role playing as lucy mclean so yeah thank you guys for being here um can i shoot him in oh these are really low percentages unfortunately what if i just shoot him normally oh 23 percent oof i don't know man all right let's try wow death 
Deathclaw was critically hit for 30 points. Oh man, these rolls. And then you have those other rolls where you have like 95% and you miss three times in a row. I don't understand this game sometimes. Look at that. Oh, by the way, I, I totally forgot. Wow, 177 hit, 77 hit points. This is going to be a tough fight. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. He said that we should shoot its eyes. 3% to shoot the eyes. Head. We missed. <laughs> Guys, we missed. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not good. Now. Oh, we missed his eyes. All right, let's back up. Wait, what? We had bonus move. Plus two AP to move. What is this? Wait, I, whoa, 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 wait a second. You get two free APs each turn that can only be used for movement in... In other words, you can move two free hexes each turn for each level of... Like, is this... <coughs> what is this? Okay, Deathclaw eyes hit... Why is it only two, man? Exactly. So it doesn't show up. It only shows up as two. But we actually moved four tiles. Alright, we were hit for seven points. That's not even that bad yet. Wow, 17 points for... Okay. I'm not gonna reload. We are going to keep it that way so let's just move away that's six tiles so he can only hit us once which is kind of okay we were only hit for one all right hitting the eyes now let's uh yeah okay Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. The bonus move w works. All right, all right. Good, good. Uh. No. Stop shooting, dog meat. Deathclaw was critically hit in the eyes for 44 points. A serious wound is inflicted. Uh, inflicted. How is he doing? 29 HP. Okay, okay. Let's move away. <gasps> oh no. Oh my god. So wait, wait, wait. The bruise will look nice and maybe the scars will make good party talk. Oh no. If we don't kill him this round, this is gonna get ugly real soon. <laughs> That animation, boys. That club was critically hit in the eyes for 100 points. The result is massive damage to the Deathclaw's eyes. Deathclaw was killed. Wow, we we were. For crushing my enemies, I earn 1,000 XP. Okay, this is this. <laughs> this was good. Oh boy, do we have anything on him? No. All right, there was another uh, guy. Is, is this guy going to attack us now? All right, let's go. Uh, uh. It was so fast. My brothers were gone. Could not help. I, I'm, I can't remember. Was the leader of it? Maybe my holidays. The Mutant Weekly hands you a bloody hollow disc. Where did you come from? We, we were scouting for primes. Came from, from the Northwest. Who sent you? 
Father. Where are you, father? Yes, master. The mutant breathes his last breath and collapses. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we have a radio. Can we use the radio? There is only static on the radio. Okay. Pip-Boy downloading data. You gain 100 experience. All right. Let's access the Pip-Boy. Data, um, junk town hub status. Actually, steal necklace from merchants. Dispose of merchant. Mutant transmissions. Message sent. Base. Message sent. Um, base. This is scavenger team to come in. Over. Message received. We're reading you loud and clear. Go ahead. Over. Message sent. We've collected four males, two females, and their supplies from the caravan. They are not too badly contaminated tell the lieutenant that we are sending them ahead they might be able to survive the process we are going to wait here for a few more days message received roger that we are were any casualties accrued during uh, the acquisition over message sent negative another clean sweep base also uh, base also tells scavenger team one that we've run across the same problem they had. One of our scouts did not return from his uh, perimeter patrol. A few of our other scouts reported that there was something big and fast seen near our camp last night. I'll be checking it out personally at 0600 hours tomorrow morning over. Message received copy. We'll be awaiting your report if possible. Try to capture it. The master would be very pleased over. All right, we have 121 days left. So we are almost 30 days. So we are almost a month in on in the game. That's uh that's an interesting one. All right, well, here is the thing. We we now know that uh, the caverns didn't die to the uh did not die to the death claw. Oh, by the way, is there like something hidden here like uh like a special item or anything because you know you never know so you have to check maybe a gun or something i mean these dark corners man you never know oh we already looted him anything about these eggs eggshell egg egg shell anything here well it doesn't seem like there's anything left here it's only eggs and that's kind of it so i think we can go back all right let's save as death claw quest 2 now we know that uh this was uh a super mutant from the fallout series i think we we didn't find out that in game yet but i think it's gonna be up there pretty soon all right we saved let's go back to old town because we didn't uh we didn't finish it's a bitty spider smashing smashing all right does i mean we could save and we could now try and say oh hey it's you again yeah we won't be anything i can do for you so this guy doesn't have anything to tell us after we killed that death claw all right so let's go back to this oh we didn't uh we didn't uh explore this area uh excuse me Excuse me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got 14 HP. That's not good. Okay. Let's, uh... <laughs> Let's, uh... Reload. Okay. Oh, my God. Get out. 
of the doorway please thank you all right so these guys literally open fire on us interesting uh what should we do if i open the door this is gonna be a blood birth hey there are windows can we use these windows could i shoot into the house all right here's here's what we do first of all let's uh oh it's reloaded second of all let's heal up that's 28 but i think we can still heal up some more yeah till 48 46 should do it let's save the game let's try this uh another way so could i could i lock this door is there a way to lock it could i lock this door so that they can't come out I just don't understand is it now locked or like well whatever all right uh, should we single fire i think we should single fire all right here's what we do we line up which we are going to try and line up our uh our companions or maybe not all right we can shoot inside and there we go nice nice please 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 shoot 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 no 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 don't move don't move don't move just sit there and and be pretty stay there and be pretty come on oh my god you know what Whoa. <laughs> 60 hit points critical damage knocks him out there you go all right there we go uh i need to i need to move i need to move out for, of the window out from the window okay good and now Oh, I can't. Can I reload? No, I cannot reload. All right. Okay, let's. Uh, uh, huh. Since I'm not aggroed anymore, mm, at least the thing I still I still need to use a stim pack. Okay, done. I can move two tiles without so one two without okay and now I can make uh wait who who do we see is this Ian uh he has wielding a desert eagle okay you see a a CD looking you see Ian okay okay we don't want to shoot Ian can we okay okay here's the thing can I shoot this guy? Because I don't want to shoot Ian by mistake. All right, let's shoot this guy in the head. All right, 22 hit points. There we go. That sounds more like it. Wow, Ian was hit for 20. Ooh, that's too much, man. All right, let's uh, reload the gun. And now... I think this should, this should finish the guy. Yep. That finished the guy. Okay. Okay. Ian is trying to leave. That's uh, usually not a good sign. Alright, but that guy is dead too. Now I'm going to move up. Don't, don't you kill Ian. Oh my god.
Nice. Is he dead? Oh, no, he isn't. And he used the stim pack? Okay, but that's good. That's good. Uh, that's actually pretty okay. All right, we won't need... There we go. Done. Done. It's done. Good. Uh, for slaying your opponents, you earn a 508... 5... 580 XP. 580 XP? Uh, it's not the worst. All right. This guy had two stim packs. Nice. Uh, actually... Wait. Yeah, okay. I understand. Let's loot this. What about the others? The others were all in here, right? Yep. They never left. All right. Four stim packs and a combat shotgun. Not bad, boy. Oh, we can't. Uh, Ian, please. Uh, let's barter with you. And you are going to get... A, I mean, you have 18 stim packs. Like, why don't you use stim packs, dude? Mm, I don't think I want to give him the knife. Oof. There are so many things I want to sell. You know what? Actually, let's talk. And uh, never mind. And we are going to give all these things to Tycho. Tycho is already using a shotgun. So we could actually tell Tycho that, hey, look, you take this. You take this and you take the knives. You take those. Uh, you know what? Take the flares too. Why? Why is why flares? That that's the only thing that I, I don't understand. Why the flares? What does the flare do? What does the flare do? Now the combat shotgun. Oh, you know what? Let's just uh, wait a second because maybe it that is a good upgrade for us. Let's try and see if uh, the combat sh shit. I forgot. No, no. Go back. Oh, we have to do this again. All right. Sorry, Tycho. I forgot to put in the offer. Don't worry. All right. Um, yeah, take the shotgun too. And uh, you have stim packs. You know what? Take seven more. And uh, I mean, take two of these. And yeah, I think that's uh, that's kind of it. Okay, uh, offer. There we go. That should uh, free us up a bit. And we could uh, loot the shotgun shells. And see how good is the shotgun. It's 15 to 25. Yeah, the pistol that we have is much better. But, but we could give him... The shotgun and ask him to draw this shotgun next time instead of the other one never mind let's talk to him draw your best weapon what can i do for you uh draw your best weapon okay good that's closed all right So we have two SMGs. Interesting. Let's unlock this door. Could you... Could you move? Alright, 25 XP. Not bad. So, who are you? Thank you, stranger. I don't know how many weeks, perhaps, perhaps months, those thugs have had me here. I'm very grateful for your help, grateful for your help, and I'm sure the Brotherhood of Steel is also. 
Well, I'm glad that I could be of help. Uh, are you going to be okay? Well, I'm glad I could be of help. Thanks again. If you stop by the Brotherhood, I'd appreciate it if you could tell tell us. No, I'm okay. I'm sure he's worried. Bye and take care. All right. So this was a member of the Brotherhood of Steel, it, it would seem like. And we didn't even expect that. Honestly, I, f I just thought that this would be just some uh, loot. Let's see. What did they have here? Nothing. Uh, did I loot this other guy? Yep. And what about the... I think I looted everyone. It was only four guys. Okay. Uh, the good part is that I was very worried that uh, the, the local police would uh, would attack us, but they didn't. So in which case, I think uh, we're good. Now, the, there was another building that I didn't explore. And... Uh, necropolis! Yeah! That, that's the word I was looking for before. Yeah, so the glow and the necropolis could... could uh, um, uh, maybe, maybe they, the necropolis still uses uh, Red X or Red Away. I don't know if there's radi radiation there. But anyway, um, let's see. I think I figured out what's been happening to the missing caravans. That's great. Go tell Butch. Oh, okay. Well, what do you got for me? It was mutants. What? Do I look a crate shy of a load? Did you even see the death claw? I'm telling you what I that it wasn't the death claw. Being there, saw that, killed it. You, you killed you it? Killed it? Oh. Well, I uh um uh, where did these mutants come from? I don't know yet, but they have an outpost in the mountains. An outpost? Well, um well, uh I'll have to talk to the committee. Yeah, yeah, they'll know what to do. Uh, done and done. G get out, because uh, I got stuff to do, okay? <laughs> done. Done and done, he says. All right, what about this guy? I found... How may I... I found out what happened to the missing caravans. Really? So who are the bastards? The water merchants? Yeah, that that's them. They are out to get you. They want your Brahmin. Actually, it was a group of these huge mutants. Some huge mutants are destroying my caravans. That's almost as good as this death, death claw story. Well, check this hollow disc out. I got it off one of the raiding mutants. Hey, I I know how to use one of those. Butch got some gizmo from some scout from the Brotherhood a long time ago uh, that can read these things. Let's see. Sorry, I didn't believe you. This does not bode well for the good guys. Well, here's your 500 bucks. Hell, make it 800 and thanks for the information. If you need any more work, you will always be welcome. Now, let's see. Uh, fine, thanks. Do you have any more jobs? Uh, how's my favorite lady? Mm. Great, just stopping by. Do you have... Of course, uh, you don't need to talk to me. Just talk to our caravan driver. All right, let's see. So, the 3rd and the 18th for the Crimson Caravan. And as our pip boy says... Oh, what the... How... You know what I don't understand, guys? How did the date get from 3rd of January to 21st of January, but our water chip is still 121 days left? How does this work? Because last time we looked at this, it was like 1st of January 2162. Do you guys remember at the beginning of the video? It was 1st of January. And now 20 days pa passed, but <laughs> the days for the water chip did not go down. That's that's an interesting uh that's that's an interesting one. I'm curious. Alright, well, it doesn't matter. Um 
so you sign up good to hear so uh so you know uh we leave just about every 10 days that's the 8th 18th and 28th uh guys i think i need my phone to note this down because i can't uh, uh tab out of this game uh, and i'm going to put myself another glass of water too bear with me uh a moment All right, I'm back. So <clears throat> it seems that um, we have, if I uh, note this down, so the Crimson Caravan, the Crimson Caravan does um, does these every third and eighteenth, every third and eighteenth, right? So the Crimson. 3rd and 18th of the month. Then we have the Fargo Traders. Fargo Traders. Uh, which are 8th, 18th, and 28th of the month. Now, it is very important to know that uh, because if these are aren't that uh, if these don't take long we can literally if we want to make a bunch of money we could spend like i don't know like a few weeks and do like two to trade two to three uh caravan runs and we could also uh, that would also give us xp uh so what's the pay uh you'll get 400 bucks you might be saying that it ain't that much but we uh go out often and you ain't gonna lose your life that easy but uh you get that pay going each way uh not that you have to go each way but you'll get a total of 800 if you do we take off on january 28th you interested um i'm sure Great to hear. Come back uh, on January 28th. You will be heading out then. Uh, like always, it will pay 400 bucks. So, here's the thing. If you want to leave from the hub towards the Brotherhood, we could just take a caravan, right? That would give us 600 bucks at, uh, at the Crimson Caravan. And we don't even have to come back. We could just stay there <laughs> or we could go to necropolis so th there are so many ways that we can we can make a, at least a bit a bit of money while we are traveling so it might be worth waiting to for one of these caravan days but we will see we will see great to hear come back to, uh on january 28th you will be heading out then okay uh sorry can't wait if we go with sorry can't wait so what's the pay? Maybe... Okay. Now we know. So these are repeatable quests. That is cool. Now this was one of the places that we didn't... Uh, that we didn't... Um, check. Uh, let's see. What does this do? Okay. Nothing here. Nothing here. nothing here so i mean probably there's nothing anywhere here so it's only the trader itself and what do you have for sale hi welcome to the library i don't think i have seen you around these parts before uh what might you be looking for in the way of knowledge <clears throat> what do we have in the way of books i am looking for a water ship well, in my studies, I have come across some references to such things. Actually, I have in my possession a holodisc that contains a certain amount of information that you might be um, that you might find useful. A holodisc? What is that? Can I have the holodisc? 
information is hard to come by in this day and age i will need to charge you 570 hub bucks for the disc sounds good here's the money oh can we barter 500 uh now that looks like a worn hollow disc if i've ever seen one i'll give you 500 for it you're right the, the disc already since that the case i will accept 500 instead of the original price oh my god this was this was a barter check and we succeeded as i may have explained you will need to use this and then access yeah i i know how to use it we already used it uh all right and let's read it vault locations vault locations version 34.129 Revi revision c western usa <clears throat> hello and welcome to the latest edition of the western united states vault location pamphlet we hope you enjoy the pamphlet and remember vaults are not just for the upwardly uh mobile but for everyone vault 12 under the sprawling uh metropolis of bakersfield lies the technological magnifi magnificence of uh, vault 12 built with every amenity in mind for the prospective vault dweller vault 12 was given the pressed vault suit suit award for attention to preparedness buried for underground the protection that uh vault dwellers will receive will be unprecedented much like all other vaults vault 12 has been fitted with the newest in vault water purification systems able to take even the waste located in the sewers of bakersfield this system is able to deliver over 15,000 gallons of pure refreshing uh drinking water every day all right uh vault 13 located in a scenic mountainous region northwest of Vault 12, this vault offers an endless supply of pure water to the inhabitants. The rumors that the water table, the water table in the area could easily be contaminated in the event of a nuclear war have been found by the Department of Water and Power to be completely unfounded. In the event that the water in the area were to be tainted, remote, uh, remote even though it may be, Vault 13 has been fitted with the government-approved vault water pur purification system, rated to work without significant loss of output for over to 250,000 hours. And then there's Vault 15 that we already explored due east from Vault 13. Uh, construction of the, this vault has gone extremely smoothly. Much work has done to reinforce the walls of the third level of this vault to make all of the future vault dwellers more secure in the knowledge that in the event of even a major earthquake the regulatory computers of the vault would continue to function recent tours of the newly constructed vault have had <clears throat> many a potential vault dweller wa walking away with a newfound awe of the improvements done done to this already impressive vault so we just found out that uh, where Vault 12 is, so that means that this is going to help us quite a bit to go to where we want to, and that is Vault 12. <clears throat> Can we look at the grand maps? Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Junk Town. We have the layout of the junk town, the lab, casino, crash house. Okay, well, uh, let's see. What do you have for sale? Wow. Five books of science, five Dean's electronics, five first aid, five scouts, and guns and bullets. one of the oh my god one of this is four thousand books of science wait a second wait a second let's talk wait okay uh i mean this only does that uh understood dean's electronics i think that's for the repair the for the repair skill 
let's see so how are we doing in repair 41 percent and science 41 percent so so 41 percent let's try and do uh can i take a few things from i mean i could already sell a few things but but first uh nothing let's just steal a few things back from you uh take all the grenades take as much as possible i of course we can't pick all of those let's try though one two four you can't three no two oh my god one okay all right let's barter for uh the dean's electronics these are the dean's electronics that's 6.5k uh that's not even that bad 800 one six one nine that's three thousand uh no no ammo no ammo for now it's four thousand five thousand anything else all right let's put in one point 4k actually that would be three uh eight six i think yeah all right good and now we are going to be reading a bit nothing but thanks um let's read a bit All right, and what does that, uh, how much is that? Oh. Wait, is it? That wasn't even that much. But I mean, from 41 to 63, it was a bit, it was a bit. It wasn't that much, but it was something. Okay. All right. In which case, what do you have to uh let's barter for more what else do you have oh oh she has more does this replenish all of a sudden and it's literally the same price well you know all right i bite let's let's do this I kind of want to repair. Uh, let's take a... Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Okay. We, sh we have to still not, not barter. Okay, let's take one. Uh, let's take... I mean... Let's take one of those. Let's take the hunting rifle. <laughs> okay. Let's barter. That's only 300. Oh, that's only 1.5k. Oh no. Oh no. Dean's electronics. So is it only like one? All right, let's take two. And that would be... 65 caps more. Okay. All right. What's the time of day? It's six o'clock in the evening. 
Yeah, let's wait with the let's wait with the reading. We can read uh, after. Uh, because we still have a few more quests to do. So the next quest that we were doing, holy moly. Uh, the other quests that we were doing were for the Thieves Guild, right? If I look uh, at the save games. We did, uh, we did the Death Claw quest and we did... Uh, before that we were with the Thieves Guild and before that we were doing the... Um, the other one. What was uh, uh, for Decker? Yeah. Trying to steal something. Now... Let's save it here. Oh! We, we already hit the three hour mark. Okay, well, we already hit the three hour mark and it looks like it looks like we have probably ran out of time. So we have this area to explore uh, where we have the quest and we also have the other area to explore, which is down here to the south. And with that, I think that's uh, where we are going to pretty much uh, stop this time around. Let me see. Uh, yeah, church, water merchants. Yeah, we are quite a way to explore. So this time, this one time, today in today's stream, we were able to explore I think half of the hub. Yeah, and we we dealt with the death claw. We met a mutant for the first time. We found out who's the crimson caravan. Who are the bad guys? We found iguana bob as well and and yeah, we we've done pretty much uh half of the stuff here in the hub so guys uh we ran out of time this is the three hour mark i'm going to see you guys next time uh stay tuned as uh next time we are going to finish up with the hub and i think we are going to be looking for vault 12 and the and the water chip so guys thank you for tuning in thank you for being here this has been papa frank and we were playing as lucy mclean role playing in the original fallout game thanks a lot for being here don't forget to subscribe and to push the follow button over on twitch and uh yeah see you guys next time have a great one <laughs>